Hello, welcome to codesnippet.java. In this video, we are going to discuss the new Java 21 feature. They call it as sequenced collections. So let's see what it is. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So let me pull the collection sequence diagram here. So if you see here in the existing collection framework, we have sequenced collection, sequence set and sequenced map added, right? So three new interfaces added basically. So let's see what are those. So first discuss what is the motivation behind adding those. So in order to understand that, let me pull this. So how do we access the first and last element inside a collection? Let's say if we have a list, we access it by using list.get and we pass the first index and last element we access by using something like this. We use list.size minus one. If we use DQ, DQ have some methods implemented inside it. So to get first element, we can use get first and to get last element, we can use get last here. Sorted set have something like sorted set dot first, sorted set dot last and link has set. We don't really have a method. We need to get the first element with the iterator. Last element we cannot even get. We need to come up with some logic, right? Do you see a lack of uniformity here? There is no uniform method to get the first and last element. So as a developer, how many method I'm going to remember? So each collection is going to have a different method and different implementation of getting first and last element and how we are going to remember that. So to address this problem, this sequenced collections comes into picture. So let's go through the code and let's see how it helps. So here I have two projects basically. First is a Java 17 project. So this one is Java 17 project here. Let's say I have array list here and I'm adding few elements inside this array list. The first element I can get using list.get and zeroth index. Last element I can get using list.get list.size minus one. If you observe here list.get first or get last like that, nothing is there. Methods like add first or add last are also not available here, right? Let's say we use link hash set. We add few elements here and how do we get the first element from this link has set by using something like this set dot iterator dot next. This will return us the first element and same with the linked hash maps. So this is something which comes from map interface, right? So we add few elements in the map and what we can do, we can get by using this particular index, but this is again sequenced, right? So we cannot get the first and last or we don't have any such methods to get the first and last, right? So it's not available in here. Now let's move to Java 21 code. So this is a Java 21 project basically. And here I have same array list. I have few elements and I'm getting the elements by using same way, right? Now, if I hover on this, IntelliJ is suggesting me to replace with get first. So if I click on that, so basically there is a get first method available. Same with the get last. So if I hover on this one as well, we'll say replace with get last, right? And if let's say if we go inside it, so this is a get first method. You can see here, this is added in Java 21, right? And one more point to note here is if we don't have anything in the collection, so let's say the collection is empty, then this will throw no such element exception basically. So that is something to keep in mind, right? Now, if we go inside array list class here, the array list is implementing list interface and list interface is implementing sequenced collections, right? So this is a sequenced collection that we are talking about. And if you see here, it has these methods called as reversed, add first, add last, get first, remove first, remove last. So all these methods we can make use of, right? So this will return us the first and last element from this list. So if we run this code, we will get the output like that. So we also had something called as list.reverse, right? Added in sequenced collection. So let's say, we use that reversed method and if we run this now, we will get the list reversed. We even have some method like list dot add first. So I'll add first, let's say zero. We also have something like add a last. So if I run this now, then we will get the respective output, right? Now let's go to sequence set, right? So I have a link hash set here. So if you remember in Java 17 code, how we used to get the first element by using something like this. Now here, if you see how we are getting it, we have get first and get last method, same methods that we were using for array list. So all those methods we can use here. If I run this code, then we will get set values reversed, right? Now after printing, if we run this code, then we will get the respective output first and last value and reversed value. We can also have something like add first or set dot add 
last let's say and add 4 here now if we rerun this code we will get the respective output again right if you notice that we are using same method for both array list and link has set so this is kind of a uniformity which is a sequenced collection is bringing in and if you see the sequence map here if you remember in java 17 code we didn't have a privilege to get the first or last like that even if it is a linked hash map which is kind of a sequenced map right so if you remember this diagram this sequenced map is a separate interface which implements map interface basically now here sequence map provide few methods related to map interface so, so for example map dot first entry let's say so if we check this this will return the first entry within this map we have a new method cool isn't it now in the similar way we have a last entry method now if we rerun this code we will get the last entry right now we also have something like reversed so let's see what this will give us so this will give the reverse map basically so let's go inside linked hash map and let's see what all methods are available so this is implementing sequence map right so let's go inside sequence map so see reverse method that we already saw first entry we saw which will return the first entry last entry will return the last entry poll first entry will return the value of first entry and same with the poll last entry here we also have put first and put last method to add element at the first or last of the linked hash set we also have sequence key set which will return the sequence of key set we have sequenced values which will return the sequence of values so let's try to make use of few other methods as well sequence key set sequence values and sequence entry set so let's rerun this code and let's see what exactly it is printing so if you see sequence key set is printing all the keys sequenced values are printing all the values and entry set is printing all the key value pair inside this linked hash map basically right so this is how we can make use of this new java 21 feature and we can use methods which are uniform across all the collections thank you for watching the video if you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe code snippet see you in the next video